Monday, anger. Anger is a signal and one worth listening to. Harriet Lerner. Anger is one of the most misunderstood and underrated emotions in our culture, which is one of the reasons it often manifests in violence and destructive words. When we're taught that the real feeling of anger is bad, we do what humans do best, try to manage it in ways that end up being unhealthy, resulting in damage to ourselves and others and often to our relationship with God too. For many years I kept my anger under wraps, but when my first two children were very young, I began sharing feelings more honestly in a women's group at our church for the very first time. Among them was a deep anger at my family, myself, and God. At first it wasn't easy for me to express it without adding but to each sentence. I'd say I'm really mad about blank, but God is good, but I have so much to be grateful for. But I know it's not okay to stay here for long, or a host of other buts that were ways of minimizing my anger to be more acceptable. Most of us have been taught that if we have more faith, more humility, more fill in your own blank, then we wouldn't be angry. The truth is that anger is a healthy and real emotion and a very appropriate response to injustice and pain. In the letter to the Ephesians, the Apostle Paul writes, Be angry, but do not sin. Not, it's a sin to be angry which is what I was always taught in church. Releasing our anger and being honest about what's making us mad are healthy actions. Right now, everyone in our lives knows I am angry at my deceased son for not reaching out to anyone and for the collateral damage of his decision. My tangible and present anger is part of my grief. It's part of my reality. For the past eight years at the refuge, we have hosted a, a special contemplative gathering in early December called Blue Christmas. It's a mix of short, shared liturgy and then an extended time with seven or eight experiential stations set up around our facility that people can engage with at their own pace. One of the most popular stations is our ornament smashing station, focused on freely expressing anger and translating that into an embodiment exercise that releases some of it in, an in a healthy way. <laughs> we take time to write what we're angry about on the glass ornaments and then smash them against a wall. What happens in that space every year is amazing. Owning our anger is extraordinarily brave. It makes me think of this line from Jan Richardson in her book of blessings, The Cure for Sorrow. Trust that the other face of anger is courage, that it holds the key to your secret strength, that the fire it offers will light your way. What are you angry about right now?